you get into doing science fair? Um, well, I took this class just sort of to get an extra credit, and then I really, you know, started to like it more and more as time went on, so. Clayton, tell us about the trip you're going on in Arizona. So the trip I'm going on in Arizona is sort of a convention where people from about 80 different countries meet up and they display their projects and they talk about them. How long did it take you to prepare your project and what is your project exactly? Um, well, I've been working on it since about mid-October and I finished, and I'm still working on it, but I finished the preliminary part about, you know, a couple weeks ago. And it's to determine the amount of chloride in water using spectrophotometry and sort of sending light through a solution and seeing how much light bounces off of particles in the solution. Tell us about your new class at Moberly High School. Well, this year we started a new class called Science Investigations. And I only had three students, um, but I wanted a small number to start with. And so Science Investigations is a class where the students do original research um, all year long and then they use that to go and compete at a science fair. Um, can you tell us about the science fair competition? So we, we went to the regional science fair on March the 12th and all three of the students took first place in their, own, in their division and uh, that was Preston Barron and Clayton uh, Garnett and Sam Tadras and each one of them took first in their division so they all qualified to go to state, and so on April the 12th, we're going to go to state at Maryville. But Clayton won the science fair and won the Intel uh, portion of the science fair, Intel ISEF, and that uh, qualifies him to go to the International Science Fair in Phoenix, Arizona. And how did you help Clayton prepare for this project? Well, I was his mentor, so I mean, he, I, we helped, you know, at the beginning, we brainstormed for different ideas for projects, and. When he'd settled on this one, we, you know, we keep brainstorming different ideas and how we can change it, make it better. And even the other students in the class help each other as far as, you know, giving each other ideas. But the project is all done by the student and they, they do the research, they collect the data. They have to write up a paper and make a presentation. And um, their, the papers and the presentations are, are quite impressive. They've done a very good job. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.